In this video, we will see about my approach to ESC General Studies. If you are just typing ESC General Studies lectures and starting to watch each and every video that is available, just stop doing that and first listen to me. Then if you want to continue and go ahead doing that, it is totally up to you. So first of all, what comes to your mind when you think of ESC General Studies? So you think, okay, there is a huge syllabus. You have no background in it. And it is very boring to read. So this is the first opinion we form before even starting the subject. So I am not going to say it is true or it is false. At least I think that way, okay, there is huge syllabus. It could be boring. I am not sure how many of you feel the same way. But many of you could be in the same boat. So we will just see in this video, like how can you approach EAC general studies, especially if you are starting fresh or you are unable to predict okay what to do what not to do so here the main point to note is that it is not like any other technical subjects so what happens in technical subjects is that you might have read it in your second year third year like even though if you have not like really understood it you might have written some at some you'll have some background okay this is what it is but in esc general studies the main problem is if i tell a topic like let's say engineering ethics some of you will not even have an idea okay what is this even ethics what am i going to read but if i tell about geotech or strength of materials or any other technical subjects if you are from another branch you'll have some idea okay this is what it is so that is the main thing which is lacking here so first our objective in each and every topic it should be to understand little bit okay what is this even about what am i going to study so that will clear up your mind if not like it's going to help you a lot it will at least clear up your mind space and you know exactly okay this is what i am going to do some direction will be there so what i will do is i'll just tell you like five five steps or you can call it call it five tips five steps whatever it is just try to listen to it and if you think it suits you you go ahead and try it for one topic then you can keep on repeating it for every topic so you can listen to this five steps and if it suits you you can go ahead whether whatever course you have taken if you have taken a course or if you are referring to any coaching material or even if you have taken our apacd esc general studies courses just try to listen to it till the end of the video you will get some idea so just do that for one topic if you find it easier and something is going into your head you can repeat it for all other topics this is how i will approach ac general study that doesn't mean everyone has to approach it the same way but this can serve you as a guide so first what you can do is the first step like i would do is first i would take a ac general studies paper which i have not seen before whether it is from 2018 or it is from 2020 whatever it is i'll just take the paper and you have to solve it like how you would normally solve it in the exam even if you do not have any background so maybe you could answer some questions already so those things you have to gauge it just by seeing one question by one question that doesn't come because you are not applying critical thinking like if you see in engineering ethics and all there are a lot of decision making questions ethics means okay whatever you did has a moral conduct is correct or not so such things come so for you might already know about these terms called whistleblowing so such things you can know when you attempt the paper itself you will apply some critical thinking and you will answer some you will do elimination of options there is maths and aptitude so first go ahead and do that and find out how much you are scoring maybe in certain topics you are already scoring good and certain topics you absolutely have no idea so all these things will you can you can note it down so that is your very first step as all of you know the weightage they have given as 5 to 15 marks so every year it keeps on varying so we will just keep in mind okay there is some sort of equal weightage so what you can do is you have already given the test like one full paper you gave so you will know which topics you are comfortable with so what you can do is you can pick four comfortable topics you can ignore engineering maths and aptitude i assume you already know how to prepare for it or if you, you would have already prepared for it so apart from this there are eight topics out of this eight topics you pick like four topics which you are comfortable with if it was left to me i would never pick material science because i absolutely have no idea in it but a student in mechanical engineering or from some other department could have 
more idea about the things in material science and as a civil engineer i might have more idea in topics like project management so you have to choose wisely so based on your experience whatever you are comfortable with if you are comfortable with like if you are a technological person and you know already about the latest technology technologies you can even go for topics like ICT so like that just pick four comfortable topics first at least let us try and complete that then we can move on to the other things so that is your second step so the third thing is for the topic you have selected let us say you have selected engineering ethics so you need to know the framework of what you are going to study so this framework you can get in like whatever source you are referring from if it's a standard coaching book you will already have the index page where it will give you a framework okay this is what you are going to read so you can also refer to multiple sources at least to find out okay this is what i need to study for that purpose you can always refer multiple sources there is no harm in doing that we have also put up a framework as it was requested by a lot of you in the previous video so i am not going to explain you the framework because it is going to be boring and there is no context so what i will do is i'll put the link in the description for most of the subjects you will have a framework this is a standard framework which will be useful for you you can go ahead and check the link in the description now moving ahead from that once you have this framework so first whatever source you are going to use whether it is a standard coaching one or even if you are going to see some lectures instead of seeing every lecture one by one whatever fits in the framework those important things alone you have to read it once all the standard things ethics means whatever comes to your mind there is conflict of interest there is moral values there are different concepts like utilitarianism and so on so those are the standard things which you need to read so that will come in your framework that that's what you have to do in the first reading whichever source you are referring to you have to do one first reading of the standard topics so that is your third step and some of you might ask okay when can i do it i find it really boring and all that so already you are picking a comfortable topic so four comfortable topics i assume you are like little bit interested in that so what you can do is you read technical all through the morning practice some questions now in the afternoon you are feeling a bit sleepy but still can put in some time so at those time you can study this it can refresh you a bit you are reading something new and it is not like you are going to mug up the facts you are just going to read it so you can read it in your like that specific time where you are feeling bored or you can allot some 2 to 5 in the afternoon so like that where you can just keep on light reading it at least for this four comfortable topics don't try to see it as a burden just try to think as okay i am trying to learn something new that can help you a bit now coming to the fourth point as all of you might have seen different different papers so there are very varied type of questions some questions might be standard but some which are little bit away and which which will look like a miscellaneous topic to you you would be like oh why to study this and all so that is what comes in your second reading all those miscellaneous topics which you omitted the first time which doesn't actually exactly fit in the framework or these are not the standard things that you will do in your second reading and this is something which which you can't read through lectures if you are going to read through lectures one by one it's going to take 100 lectures for you instead of that you can get a standard material or if you know a standard book you can refer that and read all this like miscellaneous topics along with whatever you read the first time so that is your fourth step now quickly jumping to the fifth step what you need to do is okay you have read it and you still have time so you can go for one more reading so this you could treat as your last reading so whatever you read in the first time and the second time you combine both and try to read it so if you do it this way i am sure you would be able to retain at least 70% of the information which you have read and that can eventually help you in answering the questions since this is like you can also go by elimination of options and i have told you in another video previous video how to read for esc general studies go and check that out also i have put the link in the description so you can see that how to read so in that if you see most of the questions can be answered by the process of elimination and you don't have to read in depth so that is why when you do the third reading and you retain at least 70% of the information 
you will be answer you will be able to answer many of the questions or at least relatively if not absolutely like you alone relative to others you will be able to answer very good and like i told you the framework also i have put in the description and other than that if you have any specific questions do let me know in the comment section we will try to address as many as possible so this is my approach but you try it you try it just for one topic if you find it good and you actually are able to retain information and able to answer some questions then move ahead for each and every topic once you finish the comfortable topics there will be just four topics left the burden is less now so you just go tackle one by one after that this will just set you up for the whole esc general studies i hope you find this found this useful do subscribe to our channel and keep following us for more updates thank you everyone